Hi, this is Tony Ling. Welcome back to my video. I have been missing from the YouTube for a couple months. Uh, that is because of the censorship. And during that period, I spent a lot of time on Twitter and the Telegram, and I still found a lot of uh, misinformation. So as a truth teller, I have a responsibility to uh, debunk this information and share the truth with each of you. So that is why today I am back to the YouTube and Odyssey and Rumble and hopefully a video uh, because the video is still a very powerful way to uh, tell the truth. So today in this video, I'm going to share some of the most common misinformation uh, I saw on the Twitter and a lot of people uh, believe that is truth. So here is the data from the Our World in Data, and this data is uh, regarding to the United States COVID-19 weekly death rate by vaccination status for all ages. And uh, the source of this information is from the uh, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, uh, CDC, and Vaccine Breakthrough and Surveillance and Analytic Team. So uh, the data is from the October 9th, uh, 2021 uh, to uh, April 1st, uh, 2023. So a lot of people I saw on the Twitter, they shared this uh, information from the CDC saying that, hey, uh, look at this data. You can clearly see that uh, the unvaccinated, uh, their COVID death rate is much higher than the uh, vaccinated. Uh, you can see the red line represented is unvaccinated people and the uh, uh, green line represented the uh, vaccinated with bivalent booster and uh, the blue line represented uh, the vaccinated without bivalent booster. So clearly uh, the uh, if you look at the y-axis uh, the number is higher re represented more COVID uh, death rate. So clearly the red line is above the blue line and the green line, mean, which means uh, the unvaccinated, uh, their death rate is way much higher than the vaccinated or va va vaccinated with the bivalent booster. If you just uh, look at this graph and you trust the CDC 100%, you will probably believe that COVID-19 vaccine is very safe and effective in preventing deaths. However, in order to see the fact, uh, we need more data. And the next part, I'm going to show you what is the important data which is missing in this graph. So here is the missing data. I'm showing you that uh, this data is also from the CDC, uh, although it says that the source from openvares.com, but openvares.com use the uh, CDC's VAERS data. So uh, here is what they found uh, uh, from the 35,000 uh, COVID vaccine death report. So here, here you can see on the left hand side is a report of deaths uh, and uh, the right hand side is the death of onset, which means uh, uh, when did the patient die uh, after the vaccination. So as you can see, uh, the zero days, uh, which means uh, within 24 hours of the vaccination, you can see is the most, uh, it's over 4,000. And the one day, after one day is 3,000, and after two days is uh, 1,500, et cetera, et cetera, and uh, uh, getting lower. So what strikes me is if you look at the first 14 days uh, after vaccination, uh, if you look at this part, you will see uh, it represents um, over 90% of the deaths uh, in this graph. Uh, you can see almost all majority, I would say at least over 80%. So why do I choose 14 days? Uh, let me remind you, according to the CDC's definition, before 14 days after your vaccination, your vaccination status at, is counted as unvax. So now, if you look at look back to this graph I showed you earlier, 
uh, you can see the red line represented a lot of unvaccinated deaths. Maybe a lot of, uh, the, of these deaths happen within 14 days after that vaccination, but CDC considered this group of people as unvaccinated. If their data is reliable, and uh, you could see a lot of uh, people, they died within 14 days after vaccination, and their vaccination status, according to the CDC, is unvaxxed. And here I'm going to present you another piece of evidence. That is the evidence CDC overcounted COVID deaths. This is, uh, I didn't make this up. According to the New York Times article, uh, this published on July 17, 2023, the article titled A Positive COVID Milestone. Uh, as usual, I will include the link for you so you can look up this article. And according to this article, if you scroll down, here it says the official number is probably an exaggeration because it includes some people who had virus when they died, even though it was not the underlying cause of the death. Other CDC data suggests that almost one third of the official recent COVID deaths have fallen into this category. So during the pandemic, CDC overcounted COVID deaths by including the suicide and the car accident deaths. As long as these people, they tested positive, uh, CDC will include these people as COVID deaths. If you look back to this graph, Imagine if CDC, their various data is reliable and correct, and a lot of people, a lot of uh, vaccination deaths happen on the so-called, their so-called unvaccinated people. And the CDC also overcounted COVID deaths by including people uh, they died within 14 days after vaccination. Their, state, their vaccination status is unvaxxed. But as long as these people, they are tested positive, then we would see this red line here. That is why uh, I think this graph is misrepresented. So there you go. When next time you see this misinformation, posted on the social media, you can help to reduce the misinformation by pointing out this data is actually flawed. So yeah, hopefully by um, sharing this video, we can also reduce the misinformation. Thank you for watching today's video. Have an amazing day and I'll see you soon, hopefully on the YouTube again.